9 Celebrities Who Got Cancelled in 2019 to 2020 Hello everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. Have you heard about the word online shaming? Well, I'm sure that some of you are up to date with this social media trend. Online shaming is a form of public shaming in which targets are publicly humiliated on the internet. Online shaming has several forms, and one of these forms is the phrase known as cancel culture. Cancel culture involves cancelling a public figure like celebrities after they have done or said something considered potentially objectionable or offensive. Admittedly, a person who has done an offensive act towards others must face his or her consequences. But in cancel culture, the reason for such an outcome is not always the case. Sometimes it is ambiguous and something we could never have expected to happen, happens. It usually involves deceiving people against one's figure without clarifying the truth behind the issue. In this trend, the most vocal are the ones dictating who is right and who is wrong. From all of that said, cancel culture needs to stop spreading among social media because it can, it can destroy one's life and reputation without giving them the right to explain their side without bias. Anyways, let's start our topic this time because we are going to reveal to you the 9 celebrities who got cancelled in 2019 and 2020. Number 9. Chris D'Elia Last month, a young woman on Twitter alleged that actor and comedian Chris had behaved inappropriately with her, and the accusations against Delia mounted as more women came forward with similar stories. The star has denied the allegations made against him, but the professional repercussions of the claims have been swift. Netflix just pulled the plug on his developing project. Shortly after his name started trending online in connection to the accusations, Delia released a statement denying that he had ever knowingly engaged with anyone underage in a sexual manner. But the claims made by the young women are being taken seriously in the industry, resulting in Netflix scrapping an upcoming Delia series. The star was also dropped from his talent representatives at CAA, WME and 3 Arts Entertainment shortly after the news broke. Number 8. Scarlett Johansson Following a Times article about cancel culture, people have taken to Twitter to discuss the actors and actresses mentioned in the article. Among them was Scarlett Johansson, who the article said was quote, cancelled for defending herself against critics. However, people were quick to point out that Scarlett's career is still very much alive and kicking too, and that she was never really cancelled. Others wanted to find out more about why Scarlett was cancelled. Scarlett was cast to play a transgender man, and faced criticism from people who stated that the role should be played by someone who is actually transgender. Fans were quick to point out that Scarlett is still a successful actress, so the term cancelled isn't quite appropriate. Poor Scarlett Johansson, who was so cancelled that she could only manage to be nominated for Best Actress and Best Supporting Actress in 2020. Will the persecution ever stop? Number 7. Michael Jackson Even in death, Another month, another powerful and popular celebrity exposed as an alleged sexual predator. This time, it's Michael Jackson, the subject of the scathing Neverland documentary. Radio stations across the country have already begun to pull Jackson's music from rotation. Cancel culture demands that anyone accused simply be expunged them, their products, and any fruit of their poisonous tree be blasted off into space never to be heard from again. But humans don't go away, and the work of some people is far-reaching, creating muddy boundaries of what and whom to cancel. Cancelling someone may please a Twitter mob, but does it help build a healthier future? We don't have to listen to Michael Jackson, 
but we do need to grapple with the questions of reconciliation for this time, if what was alleged wasn't true. Number 6. Jimmy Fallon Sure, we are all human and make mistakes, but some of the things which have come out about these celebs are a real cause for concern. So why has Jimmy Fallon been cancelled? What led to hashtag Jimmy Fallon is over party trending on Twitter? As with Doja Cat, some of chat show host Jimmy Fallon's history has caught up with him a bit. An unearthed Saturday Night Live clip of Jimmy Fallon performing a skit in blackface has triggered an outrage on the internet. The skit was from way back in 2000 and sees Jimmy impersonating the American actor Chris Rock. The skit is out there on Twitter and having watched it, this writer would say it's wholly offensive. We've seen the quote is over party hashtags all over Twitter this past week as celebrities are being cancelled left, right and center. The Tonight Show host Jimmy Fallon joined the lineup of cancelled celebs on Tuesday, May 26th. Twitter was split between those who were majorly critical of Jimmy Fallon's use of blackface in the SNL skit and those who were done with cancel culture. Number 5. R. Kelly Despite a reputation that's been damaged for years, R&B veteran R. Kelly faced a new day when he became the feature of Lifetime's TV series Surviving R. Kelly, a documentary that reveals disturbing stories from past accusers, details about his marriage to the late singer Alia, underage at the time, and creepy commentary from his brother who was already in jail. Events further escalated when Robert Pied Piper Kelly gave us all the greatest performance of his career by jumping up and shouting during his sit-down interview with Gail King, creating a sad and memeful moment. Kelly's official 2019 cancellation notice arrived when he found himself indicted on 10 counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse and 18 federal counts of child pornography, kidnapping and forced labor. Number 4. Jussie Smollett It began January 29th when Smollett told police he was attacked by two people who were yelling out racial and homophobic slurs and poured an unknown chemical substance on him. A little over two weeks later, after police said that they interviewed more than 100 people, two Nigerian brothers were arrested as suspects and later released as potential witnesses. The interview with two brothers led police to believe Smollett paid the two brothers to stage the assault on him. Smollett and his attorneys deny he orchestrated the attack but he was arrested February 21st on suspicion of filing a false police report and indicted on 16 counts of felony disorderly contact March 8th. The charges, however, were eventually dropped. As the saga unfolded, Smollett's character on Empire was cut from the final two episodes of the show's season. The city of Chicago also filled a lawsuit against Smollett to recover the $130,000 to cover police overtime during the investigation. Number 3. Ryan Adams The New York Times published a report in February that alleged a relationship between US rock singer Ryan Adams and a woman, now 20, who was a minor at the time. The Times wrote the alleged relationship began in 2013 when the woman was just 14. Two musicians also told the paper Adams offered to help them with their careers, but he then began to pursue them sexually. Actress Mandy Moore, who was married to Adams from 2009 to 2016, then said in a podcast after the article was published that Adams was psychologically and emotionally abusive, calling his behavior controlling. The allegations led to the cancellation of Adams's tour in the United Kingdom and Ireland. He was due to play nine dates on the tour. Adams tweeted in February that he was not a perfect man and apologized to anyone he ever hurt. He did say though that the article painted him an upsettingly inaccurate picture. 
quote, I would never have inappropriate interactions with someone I thought was underage, period. His tweet read. Number two, Shane Gillis. After he was announced as one of the new cast members of Saturday Night Live, all eyes were on Shane Gillis. The same afternoon of the announcement though, news broke that Gillis had history of making defamatory comments about Chinese Americans, LGBTQ people, and women during episodes of his podcast with fellow comedian Matt McCusker, called Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast. SNL decided to fire Gillis before the season even began, saying, We were not aware of his prior remarks that have surfaced over the past few days. The language he used is offensive, hurtful, and unacceptable. We are sorry that we did not see these clips earlier and that our vetting process was not up to our standard. Some comedians defended Gillis while others supported NBC's decision. Quote, I'm a comedian who was funny enough to get on SNL. That can't be taken away, Gillis wrote on Twitter. Number 1. Don Cherry Legendary hockey coach and sports broadcaster Don Cherry stepped down from Canada's number one sports network, Sportsnet, after referring to immigrants as, quote, you people. Cherry's comments were made during a broadcast in November during his weekly Coach's Corner segment. He was complaining that he rarely saw people he believed to be immigrants wearing red poppy pins, which are worn as a symbol of remembrance to honor fallen Canadian service members. Quote, you people, you love our way of life. You love our milk and honey. At least you can pay a couple bucks for a poppy or something like that. Cherry said, these guys paid for your way of life that you enjoy in Canada. These guys paid the biggest price. Sportsnet said in a statement on Twitter that Cherry's statements were divisive and quote, do not represent our values or what we stand for. Thanks for watching. Just like, subscribe, and you'll get notified so you won't miss out on the next video. As always, have a nice day.